you want to go from this to this in just five minutes well i got 10 tweaks that will help you actually you have to go to chrome and search bitsum.com and we need to download process lasso just look up process lasso download just click the first thing oh it's gonna pop up so after that you need to click the download Why green button and download just have to wait once it's done downloading you have to click it then they're now in the installation page click english note that this is perfectly safe i've tried this i mean i've used this for like how many years Stop installed and a lot is now done gonna pop up in this window right here it's gonna be confusing if you look at that at face value but if you just if you just open roblox for a sec here just open okay it's gonna open um go to go to your click your active processes and go click uh roblox player beta see your priority always to high once you have clicked high then you're good to go okay so the next part is you have to download block strap now in my past videos i've said this a lot i cannot stress this enough you need to download block strap to in order for you to guys to get high up so it's perfectly safe i don't i don't know how many people use this but like it's 100% safe to download it you have to go to their original website which is blockstrap.org sorry you have to click act on this that's not the real download link it's gonna get you act so okay now it's downloading you have to wait for it till it download boom it's now done you have to click on it already have it downloaded now now that you have downloaded it you have to you have to follow my settings which is i'm gonna i'm gonna show right now Go to your engine settings. It's like where the fun starts. So or like the lowest graphical number, low, like lowest graphic, lowest graphics, high FPS, like just straight out data graphics. You need to follow my setting. So anti quality, anti aliasing. I'll put it on one. Four X is just overkill. One X is just, I think that's the tight spot. If to disable like, these three, that is gonna like uh, I mean that's gonna use uh, more resources and shit. Premium limit. You have to like put. Just it, please let it exceed 60 FPS. <clears throat> prefer lighting technology. I prefer you to use voxel. Um, preserve rendering quality with the space scaling turned out on. Rendering mode direct 3D 11. Texture quality is set level zero. It explains why it's level zero. So this this button right here is gonna be the main dish, which is gonna be linked down in the description. This 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 is the best fast flags that you would you could ever use. In any game so to get it there's gonna be a link down in the description so to actually use it let me just reset this to default it's gonna look like this on your uh first it's gonna look like this when you first downloaded it so you have to click add new import json and then paste the uh, text that i provided in this uh menu and voila it's gonna implement to the black shop make sure to save that um and everything click accident so the next step is to adjust your windows to be on performance mode. Now it's gonna look a bit ugly. It's not gonna look like clean, but it's gonna give you the FPS. So you have to click on your search button. Um, I mean, search up, adjust the appearance, performance options. When you first open it, it's gonna be this button is gonna be pop. That Windows choose what's best for my computer, but it's, it's ass. It's gonna do all this, like check all. It's gonna use more resources. So you have to click adjust for best performance. Now it's gonna be, it's gonna uncheck all of that, but you have to click this and click that and show thumbnails instead of icons. So the next step is you have to let your windows, I mean your desktop or your laptop, um, adjust their performance settings to roll. We already did it to process that, so but we have to do it in Windows too. So to do that, Go to your uh, settings, go to display, um, click graphics. But normally, Block Shop and the Roblox Player Beta is going to show here normally. But those that don't have that normally, yeah, you have to like do it manually. So to do that, you have to go to search bar and then look up Block Shop, open file location, open file location again, and then copy the path from the file you went to. On display setting, you need to click browse. And then copy the path path thingy on top of the search bar. After all that, you just have to click add while selecting block strap. I already have it added, so I'll just like go through it, hover to it, click options, and click on high performance and click OK. 
Same goes to Roblox Player Beta. You have to go to Boss Rap and click on Open File Location. And then Open File Location again. Um, click on Versions. Click the first one. And then select the Path File. I mean Path thingy. I don't know what it's called. Go to Display again. Click on Browse. And then paste it. Paste the Path File to the Path thingy. And then click on Roblox Player Beta and then click on Add. Now hover to Options and click on High Performance. That's about it. Now this process right here is often overlooked but it helped me so it's probably gonna help you. Go to Chrome and look up Chris Titus Windows 11 Utility Tool. Um, click, click the Chris Titus thingy. And then you have to copy this command right here. Um, you have to run Windows PowerShell. Run it as a... And then paste the command. <clears throat> now keep in mind this is generally safe because it uses a Windows PowerShell rather than an official EXE thing. So it's gonna take a while. It's safe. I swear everybody uses this on my, on my dog's life. I love my dog. So voila. This is the uh, tweak or something. You have to click on the tweaks button and there's like a standards here that you you, sh you could click for if you want to be safe but normally if you just click that and then standard it's not gonna normally like you know deploat everything now this is the advanced tweaks advanced advanced tweaks now you have to proceed with caution when you actually do these you have there's like uh there's definitions like like explanations and what it does if you actually like hover your mouse to it for for I mean, hover it there, and then it's gonna explain it clearly. So yeah, you just have to like disable background apps, you have full screen optimization, disable Microsoft. Cool. The, the tweaks so you just click run tweaks now it's gonna run in the background tweaks are finished this clip is done click ok and tweaks are finished so normally you have to like reset you have to reset your computer after all that so there you go now your PC has been deploaded onto the next step. There's gotta be some times where you have to like delete all of the temporary files you have in your Windows folders. So you have to delete it to reduce the resource usage or something like that. So open Windows R and then search up temp and then boom. I have nothing here because we did the disk cleanup earlier, but if you do, you have to control a and delete it all so let's just skip over that click windows r again and then this time you have to look up prefetch sorry i'm retarded what's up guys uh good evening and shit there's got to be some files like this one so you have to control a delete all that now it's gonna ask okay it's not gonna ask anything but like yeah you have to delete all that so click on run again prefetch you have to do percent temp percent it's gonna, gonna say all that now i already cleared everything using the disk cleanup so you normally have don't have to do it basically yeah now if you didn't do the windows the boat tweak thingy um uh, you have to look up this cleanup to disk to clean your disks now this is freaking important if you actually want extra extra storage or like better fps i mean like what am i saying you, have, you actually have to do this for more storage and for like systems to not eat up your resources and stuff so I'll click on clean up system files and calculate and it's gonna do all that thingy then okay delete then it's gonna clean up and boom you're done you possibly cleared like 30 gb of like absolute garbage in there Now, this is one of the most overused tweaks out there, but I just had to include it because it's very important. So you have to like disable all these startup apps that you don't or you don't want running in your background when you first boot up your PC or laptop. 
Click on search, go to task manager, constants, and then in disable the things that you don't want it running when you first open it. Like cluster X, X, I don't want that. FX sound, I don't want that to be running. That's basically it. It's gonna it's gonna fasten your boot up time or whatever. It's gonna provide you with more FPS. Just trust me on this one. It's the biggest piece of so the end of the video everyone hope you guys like the video if you find you guys found this video helpful make sure to subscribe do everything so that the algorithm recommends me to you guys well can i sit next to you yeah okay so if you guys like the video i hope you guys enjoyed it um although it's very um self-explanatory but you just had to do that for the sake of fbi yes so that's about it for me guys thank you guys thank you all so much for the support and thank you guys for watching the video and i hope to see you guys on the next one bye bye now.